Alright, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, that by honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Now, I got to speak up a little bit, you know, because I'm driving. And um, I, the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, got upon me to do a lesson. You know, just based on thoughts I was thinking as I was listening to the elder brother Kazak and getting down in the spirit. Know how you were going into how he's a long-winded brother but that's okay you know because the spirit is speaking expressively you know and his spirit is for him to thoroughly expound upon scriptures you know and even though it may seem like he's going off the topic it's really not off topic because the brother may come and get fed and then leave you know and um hey the scriptures speak about how our uh is that proverbs our uh, man's ways uh man's heart divides with his steps but the lord directed his ways roughly paraphrase in proverbs 16. you know and um when your house shot comes hey your house shot is coming to blow esau's candle stick out man you know he's coming to blow esau's candle stick out and because Esau's candlestick, which Esau was used to say as the, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So Esau's candlestick spiritually is his wicked spirit, you know, which is upon all the people. So in essence, when he, when he blows Esau's wickedness out, two-thirds, everybody that's tied to him will also get uh, hurt. Know, they will also be blinded you know because our power is a jealous power and he has to his light is the only light that can shine okay I want to say was that Micah 401 or Malachi 401 I believe it's Malachi 401 I'm pretty sure it was where it speaks about how all nations are going to come to him in Revelation 19 it speaks about when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back he's going to have many crowns upon his head okay um, the book of Revelation is just that, the revealing of the end, okay? Here it is, many people are going to vote today, thinking their vote matters, all right? You voting for this devil Trump or Jim Crow Joe, all right? Either way, you're voting for another nation to be over you, okay? Our power, Yahweh Shem Shai, has spoken through his prophets of what's to come, the Arfadichi. You see it. World War Three. You see it. Sedition among men. We see it. Okay. The revealing of the wicked. We see it. Okay. Yahweh Shai is the. His word is going to rule at the end. All right. Something else I was thinking about was um. How Yahweh Shai said, the last enemy he's going to fight is death. I want to block you. You know. Just uh, paraphrasing The last enemy He's going to destroy is death You know Death is not going to rule Under your Howard Shai's rulership You know here it is I'm driving to my particular uh, Destination And I see um, Deers on the side of the road You know Fucking skunks Ran over, cats ran over It's like this place is death man Okay, this place is death. You know, you ride in past a particular town, it might be an industrial area, so all you see is black smoke. You know, you know, look like a damn dark cloud. This place is death, man, and the Lord is going to take this place out. And these are very beautiful, exciting times, man. You know, and as the elder brother Kazak, which he was quoting the brother, um, the elder brother Malcolm, you know, either way, this shit's going down. However, it's got to go down. Whether we be martyrs, you know, um, whether we don't make it, which Lord willing we do, man. We, that's our faith that we do make it. That's why we give and diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know, however it go down, this place is going down. Okay? And um, I was reading uh, Psalms 144 and 11. So let me see if I can grab it real quick. Psalms 144 and 10. 
It is he that giveth salvation unto king, who delivered David his servant from the hurtful sword. Now we coming up at the house of David, the most high is going to uh, deliver us from the, his sword, Psalm 17 and 13, which is the so-called white man, the devil, Esau, Edom. Okay. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the hand of falsehood. Okay. Which I'm driving right now, so brothers can check out that word strange. You know, but um, I believe it says in Malachi 1 that, you know, he was our brother, but he had basically a, a went aside from the covenant. Okay. Esau, Esau and Jacob are brothers, evil twin, you know. Um, Esau is Jacob, evil twin, evil twin brother. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. The scriptures say under, under, under lies have they hid themselves. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. You know? So, this devil has to go down for us to come up. You know? There cannot be two first place um, prize. There's a first place and a second place winner. Okay? That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. That our daughters may be as cornerstones polish after, after the similitude of a polish, you know, and at, in this current world, everyone desires to be like the so-called white man, she's uh, the queen bee, you know, she's Princess Diana, so to speak, everybody desires to be like her, you know, with the blonde hair, you know, hey, it's a spirit, man, <laughs> I see this damn, uh, look like a pickup truck with a bunch of American flag and looks like Trump. Uh, flags, you know, but um, anyway, you know, this world is going to be flipped right side up to where our people are going to be the ones to be, you know, yeah, it's Trump, Trump devil, all right, it says, uh, that our sons may be as plants growing up in their use, okay, it's lucky, I read that. Thirteen that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. You know, and what's synonymous with riches in the scriptures, as it says in Job, the first chapter, and um, when it spoke about Abraham, that he had many cattle and sheep. You know, so we're going to be, man, we're going to be beyond rich, man. You know, there's going to be another word for our, uh, our splendor if you will, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in, you know, hey, it makes me think of Deuteronomy 28 and 1 through 15, no going out, that there be no complaining in our streets, no more death, you know, no matter who you vote for, no matter who was in office, Obama was in office, Jacob didn't put to death, Trump is in office, Jacob, you know, didn't put to death. Hey, Jim Crow Joe, I was looking up, uh, you can look up, you know, videos about this devil. He was the main advocate about uh, segregation, man. You know? And, it, and you know, back in, I believe, 50s and 60s, when they wanted to segregate us, you know, from these devils in schools, which we, you know, that's cool. You know? It says, happy is that people that is in such a case. Yeah, happy is that people whose God is is Yahweh. First Samuel 2 and 9, the most high lifted up the beggar from the dunghill and set him among the pillars of the earth. Okay? So we're not voting for this devil, alright, to come in and continue to rule. We're voting for Yahweh Shah to come in and rule, man. And the scriptures say the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. So there's not going to be no vote, man. You know, going back to the uh, what the elder has said. It's not going to be, um, no matter what happens, we got next through this hey we got next man the israelites you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans got next you know hey so with that shalom to the elect